to the One Six Scale Man YouTube page. It's your boy LR bringing you the best in One Six Scale collectibles in any and everything pop culture. Yo, what did we get today, man? As a matter of fact, what did we get last night? Late last night, and this is just basically my quick thoughts on the preview of the highly anticipated. You know what it is, Armorer from the Mandalorian series. Man, um. I would actually say that this almost broke the internet. Could have. Um, you know, highly anticipated. Um, Toy Fair exclusive. Um, something that we've all been anticipating. We've all been wanting. We've all been asking for. And finally, they listened and they gave it to us. And I think that little push came from a lot of unlicensed companies that have actually been dipping their toe into producing this figure. Um but nevertheless, I'm glad we got it. Um, like the pictures look in amazing. The detail looks amazing. I uh, don't know how the articulation is going to be now. From what they're basically saying, this is slated for a late 2022 release. Um, so it's going to be a while. It, it is going to basically be a while before we get it. Normally with Toy Fair figures, you know, sometimes we get like an early release. Um, who knows? I don't know. But Anyway, this is going to be a late release, and I kind of figured that, but um, it is up for pre-order right now. But look, I mean, some of the pictures that we actually see, the detail, the quality um, in the armor itself, um, it looks amazing. There's not much I can say anything else. I can't say anything bad about it. Um, it is a highly anticipated figure. I can't wait till we get it. Um, you know, I've already pay, placed my pre-order. Um, it, it's something that I, I knew that I would not delay on. Um, especially considering the simple fact that we've been asking for it. Um, now, the other exclusives I'm not going to really cover. I might cover them a little bit later, but nothing of interest for me. Um, there is one particular figure I guess we're waiting on. Everybody's been waiting on, but if they don't deliver, all hell's going to break loose. But right now, the focus is on the armor, um, the detail that we actually get, the accessories we get. You know, of course, we get, you know, her, her tools. We see some pictures of her with Mando. We see some pictures of her engaging in combat against the stormtroopers. Man, look, it's a beautiful figure. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful time to be a Star Wars fan. And I'm glad that they finally, finally released this figure and we have it and we will have it in hand. Uh, but yeah, um, this is, like I said, my quick thoughts, my quick review on this particular figure. I'm so glad we got it. Now, the price range right now seems to be anywhere between, I think, um, I want to say about 270, 275, possibly. Don't really know. We're waiting on that. Um, now, you got to keep in mind, if you're getting it first batch overseas, it's going to be a bit more. But is it worth it? In my opinion, yes, because this is highly sought after, highly anticipated. Now, what they need to do is release Fennec and my life's complete <laughs> but yeah this is the armor armor review this is my thoughts on it i can't wait well done hot toys i can't wait till we get it again if you like my reviews if you like my my uh videos hit that like button subscribe and, and share and as always prepare for the next adventure this is lr for the one six scale man youtube page signing out quick review quick thoughts let's go hot toys let's go fandom let's go collective uh, community we got it. We got what we asked for. And I can't say any more than that. LR signing out. Let's go.